Not the video I was expecting to make, but I randomly got motivation for it, and I need the video to come out this Friday. Did you forget about me? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> for the most of you who probably have no idea what I'm talking about, about three weeks ago, LEGO revealed a new Icons Rivendell set. Every time I think I'm done talking about LEGO sets, my brain is just like... <laughs> I'm not gonna mention the whole yah yah about beauty, size, and price that everyone who's ever heard this says mentioned, as that isn't what the video is about. But I am going to encourage any of my viewers who actually have a tape measure to take it out and actually measure these dimensions. Just to properly get a scale for how fucking big this thing is. All I'm going to say is that that 20 inches of depth is the main reason I will never be getting the set, and why I will have nowhere to put it if I'm ever given it. But what I will talk about is the minifigures. You see, while the set was revealed three weeks ago, we didn't have a good look at the figures until reviews started coming out about a week ago. And while the general consensus is that the minifigures look great, some people took major issue with some of the reused face prints. Now, a little bit of context. LEGO's more recent tendency on reusing faces has been a bit of a joke in the LEGO community since 2020, mainly due to themes like Marvel and Harry Potter constantly doing this. And if I'm being honest, it's a little over-exaggerated. Like, from the way people talk about it, you'd think it's been 84 years since any licensed theme outside of Star Wars has gotten a unique face print. Like, outside of the ridiculousness of Marvel and a few Harry Potter figures, it's not that bad. Like, it feels like people are so caught up on whether it's new or reused that they kind of forget to take it into account. I don't know if it fits. Now, there is a conversation to be had about diversity and including more diverse prints, to which I very much agree with. And let's be honest, most time they reuse the face print, it just doesn't work. But on a pure accuracy note, if it does work, I don't get the big deal. Long tangent I know, but I wanted to get that off my chest and I thought it gave context. However, even though I am not someone who thinks that reusing face prints is inherently bad, there is one reuse in the set that bothers me so much. A reuse so horrible, one so against the character that it is butchering, one that is so rather ass backwards, one that keeps me up in cold sweats every night, praying and hoping that to whoever's idea it was, that they send him to the principal's office and have him expelled! That's right, I am talking about the one, the only... Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the Grey and... Bro thinks he's part of the team. Um... Gotten a good look at the figures, Lego Loss has pretty much been the punching bag of the group to him reusing the young Han solo face. And then Lego Loss, oh boy, what did they do to this poor guy? The new ones look so good. The only change I'd make is Lego Loss's head. I don't think that works for him at all, but it's also just not accurate to Lego Loss at all, in my opinion. Like, it just looks really, really bad on this figure. And I disagree about Legolas. I don't think the face works very well. And then on top of that, that face print. That face print is awful. Easily the worst face print in the set. I know you're probably like, okay, you think Armin and especially Gandalf are way worse reuses. Big whoop, Legolas is still bad. <laughs> and you're wrong! Because not only do I think it's a perfectly fine reuse, but I actually think it works for Legolas quite well. And I got the evidence to prove it. But where did I get this evidence, you may ask? Well, I searched up LEGO LASS, looked at the six image that came up, and holy shit, that looks exactly like the face print. Like, seriously, tell me with a straight face that doesn't look almost exactly like the image. A queer face, too. But you can't do this to me. And this would usually be the part where I actually rebuttal the arguments, but, like, no one's made any. Everyone just keeps saying the same thing. It doesn't work. It doesn't fit. It doesn't work well. Okay, but... How? The most I got was one person mentioning the eyebrow color, which I do agree with. They should have been dark brown or black, especially if they had the ability to do that. But even they said that that was their biggest problem, and that mostly comes down to them being sick of seeing the face everywhere. And so unless I'm crazy and eyebrows are now the only part of the human face, it doesn't really seem like an explanation for why these two images don't look alike. But now you're probably like, okay, fine, the new one works, the old one's still better. Hello, Edding Aiden here. I got about halfway through this transition before realizing Lego Less actually has two original face prints. However, I'll explain that in a little bit as I don't want this transition to go to waste. No. I've been living a lie, a metamorphical scheme. Detective undercover, brotherhood, objective of scene. Oh no, no, oh yeah. <sighs> oh, if I'd only seen. That the metamorphical scheme was on me. Yeah, I kinda went into this segment wanting to rip his old figure a new one, under the assumption that he just used the common elf face. However, not only was I wrong about that because I was thinking of his hobbit figure, but he doesn't even use it either. This is the generic elf face, dear god Darwinism has failed me. And in all honesty, I'd be lying if I said I didn't see where people are coming from. Putting them side by side, I can't say it doesn't look like him. And most importantly, it doesn't make him look tired and depressed. However, the main thing that makes me feel like this face doesn't really work is the very pronounced cheekbones. Um, hi there, Aiden from God Knows How Much Time Later. Weirdly very long story short, um, I lost so much motivation for this video, I ended up nearly cancelling it. However, I got motivation back again, so 
here we are. I'll leave the full story in the pinned comment, but all you need to know is that an entire section got cut that I am going to play the intro to right now because I'm actually really proud of it. Which probably sounds very blasphemous. I mean, all elves have super pronounced cheekbones. It's the laws of nature! Which I usually would agree with, but... Aren't we forgetting one teensy weensy but ever so crucial little tiny detail? <laughs> So, yeah, just cut to the Gandalf bit, I guess. If you didn't know, Gandalf uses the Ken Wheatley face. You, you all know who he is, he, he's that poacher dude from, uh, from uh, Fallen Kingdom. In my opinion, this looks nothing like Gandalf, like, not even close. And that's with the beard too, because most people are like, oh, it's covered up mostly by the beard, so it kind of works. Which is funny, because like, it doesn't. If you can't tell what the problem here is, one, thank you for making me feel better about my eyesight. I, should, I shouldn't say that, that's way too rude. It's one, the facial expression, and two, the wrinkles. Now, the first one might sound a little bit weird, but hear me out. Now, usually, Gandalf's eyes are much more squinted and aged. The only times his eyes are even remotely open are when he's screaming at Bilbo, and when he's fighting a literal demon. Of course, there's probably more, but you get my point. Most of the time, he usually doesn't have a... I don't even know what you would call it other than a... Expression. As for the wrinkles, they're what make Gandalf look so old and wise. In the 2020 figure, however, outside of around the eyes, he looks kinda baby-faced. Like, am I going crazy? It feels so blatant. Use your balls. And the thing is, I'm not even asking them to make a new one. Just use any of the infinitely better ones that are still on shelves. The one that specifically comes to my mind is old Obi-Wan's face. Old Ewan would be a great choice. I'm sorry, I just don't get how a figure like Lego last would get so ass blasted by community, and yet Gandalf has gotten away completely scot free. First, you call the Dragon Rear the most overpriced crystallized set for being $20 overpriced, when let's all be honest, it's totally an $80 set. When the $40 overpriced, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> $50! Golden Dragon is right there, and now this? It's always the LEGO fan! Hello, Adding Aiden back again. I was about to go on a large rant about the LEGO community that I've been holding since 2020. However, I've decided not to do that because I don't feel like it. It honestly leaves me a bit scared what it would look like if we ever get another Saruman figure. And it doesn't help that just like Gandalf, his original face was bloody perfect. Like, I want a figure of Saruman the White! Not Saruman the Stupid. What? Saruman the Silly. Stop that. Saruman the... Actually, Wrigley is what I'm looking for. Stop! Wait, what? SARUMON THE STINKY! No. So there you have it, I have made my case. Legolas is a pretty fine reuse that people have way overreacted to, and Gandalf is an affront to nature that has gone off scot-free way too long, and I have ventured far out here into the wilderness to kill him. Though, neither are really that good. Both of them really should have new face prints. Gandalf would just need a remake of his old face, with some tweaks to match modern face prints. Although his old face print doesn't actually look like something you'd see in 2023. But Legolas would probably need some sort of combination between his old and new face. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we'll get, as they're definitely making more Lord of the Rings sets. I mean, we already know about the leak by Legolas themselves, I mean... We are rumored to be getting a rumored D2C Barador in the rumored year of 2024, and is rumored rumored to have a rumored price of 400 rumored dollars. Rumoredly. And with the Rivendell set doing decently well in returns of themes like Harry Potter and Indiana Jones, I feel like it's only a matter of time before we get more Lord of the Rings sets. So, yeah. This was originally supposed to be a goofy little filler video, gradually spiraled out of control, and here we are. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I need to go actually cancel my Overlord video. I'll have a video about, uh, about that whenever it comes out. Like and subscribe, so it should be down in the description. Check them out if you're interested, or take a break from social media because you probably need it. And I'll see you guys next time! Hello, Adding Aiden again. I don't have any corrections or updates. I just wanted to remind you to have a good day. Bye bye! If you could borrow,